Natural science, first of all, is pursuit of knowledge. This means we make observations, from which we make conclusions afterwards, and reveal the correlations. But what does this mean? It means we can predict how things will behave, and this is certain knowledge. We should not overemphasize this. Science does not actually explain, but it predicts. If I have a certain correlation, it predicts what will happen. If I predict that the sun will rise tomorrow morning, this is a scientific statement. And if the sun will rise, it's confirmed. However, it's always implied that, in principle, it could also be different. Therefore, this knowledge is highly probable, but it is possible that things turn out differently. Science obviously relies on communication, for the confirmed knowledge must be communicated to our community. Otherwise, I can't claim it. Knowledge that I found for myself only is rather subjective knowledge. Other scientists can't make use of it. A prediction which I make must always be communicated to others. I can't just make a private prediction. I have to state publicly, this is the way the laws are, and this is going to happen. So the prediction of a solar eclipse is a prediction for all, and it is every time a big public event when a solar eclipse occurs. If it doesn't happen, we have a problem. But if it occurs, we say this was right, we have understood the law correctly. Das war richtig, wir haben die Gesetze richtig verstanden. Die Grenzen der Naturwissenschaft verlaufen... In my view, the limits of science run first along the lines of communication. Experience which we make can be communicated to other people. For instance, what I have measured, what I have experienced, these measurements were reproducible and always had the same result. And the other person can do the same and confirm that this is correct. You can conduct a mathematical calculation if you multiply 3 by 4, everybody else will get the same result, 12. Then this is certain knowledge. On this fact, our world is built. But it could be that you make measurements which can't be repeated so easily, which do not always yield the same result. Just as if 3 times 4 sometimes amounts to 13 and sometimes to 11. And there are such things in science that you can't exactly predict what the result of an experiment will be. Sometimes we make statistical statements. This is similar to hitting a target with a gun or an arrow. You won't always hit the 12, but sometimes you just hit the large disc. And this prediction is somewhat vague, but in principle still in the right direction. There are things which we cannot prove. Not being able to prove something implies that I can't convey to another person what I believe and am convinced of. Some matters remain personal. Into this category belong things like personal relationships, faithfulness, friendship, things you can never prove, and this is actually what makes relationships so exciting. If we could prove it, it would become boring. But as it can never be proven and remains something private, I leave the scientific realm.